Right. Now, <clears throat> I've just remembered that um, there was a security advisory for um, Shadow, not security advisory, sorry, an errata. And I've forgotten all about that until just now. So what I'm going to have to do is to go back and reinstall Shadow, but with the Rata in mind. So what I need to do is to I'll duplicate this tab and go up. I'll edit the URL here. Just remove everything after the um, BLFS part. So I'll just cut that. That should take me directly to the BLFS page. We'll go on to read and then the errata page. I'm not sure if that's what that was about, actually. No, it wasn't. Um, it's this bit here when compiling shadow in BLFS. Changes made to make file.in prior to running auto reconf, which causes these changes to be lost. Run auto reconf FIV before the changes in make file in instead and execute two sets below the one for login defs first. So let's look at that to make some sense of that. So it says run run auto reconf FIV before the changes to make file in instead. Auto reconf so we've got to run that before the changes to login.devs was it? Oops. Oh, for the changes to make file.in. So I guess that means moving that command up to before this line. And then it says and execute the two sets below the one for login.devs first the two sets below login.defs so that's that one first um right so i'm not sure does that mean execute them uh, let's have a look before the change instead and then we'll and execute the two sets below the one for so does that mean before auto reconf or does it mean so if auto reconf is going on the top does it mean doing that before the auto reconf or does it mean doing it before to log in? Yeah, and execute the two sets below the one for login defs first. So, yeah, so I'm not sure what this quite means. If it, if it means do it before the login.def set command or do it before the auto reconf basically at the top. So um, it's poorly worded. And to be quite honest, they could have put the whole sequence in the errata that would have been the proper way to do it just so there's no ambiguity at all because the way it's been laid out um, it's very confusing if if this should be done first and logically you would expect that to be mentioned first um, it's extremely ambiguous so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go back to, I'm going to duplicate this tab as well. Then I'm going to go back to read online and I'm going to look at the uh, development version because that should include the correction. So if we go to shadow here. Right, so yeah, it does look like the An auto reconf before the changes to make file. Uh, before the changes to make file.in. So, yeah, that's okay. That's there now. 
um, and execute the two sets below the one for logins.def first. Two sets below. Right, so they are moved to the top then, and then run the auto reconf. Okay, so you can see how vastly different this looks. So these two are run first, then that, and then that. So really, personally, if I would have written that, I would have said, run the two sets first, then the auto reconf, and then run everything else as it is without them commands, something like that. Because that's all we're doing is we're moving these two lines, as you can see, to the top. So the two sets, then the auto reconf, and then everything that hasn't been moved is done in order. Two sets, auto reconf, then this make file, then this these three finds, and then that set command. So yeah, it's rather rather dubious the way that's been written. So okay, um, right. This is going to be quite interesting. So let's go back to this browser. Go back into uh, where is it gone? Shadow. So I'll get all these instructions here and I'll go back to my terminal and extract shadow again. We've also got to be careful, don't um, make any mistakes as regards overwriting any existing configuration that we might not want to overwrite. So there's shadow, so let's go back to um, I'm going to see if I can work with this here for reference. So we've got to grab the two sed commands first that are together. So that's these two. So do that first. Okay, and then we've got to do the auto reconf. So that's on the, I oh know it isn't this there. So we'll just wait for that to run. Okay, now we've got to run the single set command with the make file dot in as the target, so that's that one there. So that was the first change, and it's now the third change. That's done. Now we can write um copy the three find commands. So let's grab them, there they are there. Just carefully ensure I've got them all. Oh, looks like, yeah, I've missed part of it. It's because it's hidden behind the browser. So I need to run this last one again. So I'm just going to unhide that. Back there, just run that one, because the other two will have run. It's just that last one that failed to run. So I'll get the graphical browser back. Then I can run the big set command. So that's that one. That's okay, and now I can run the configure and the make. So I can just copy that, and the rest should be the same now. So 
So while that's compiling, I'll get rid of these extra tabs I've got. And go back here. Okay, that's done, so it's back to the browser and there's no test suite so we install it again now that's done, back to the browser now we'll read carefully what changes are made, so this said could well have been reinstated um, as it's a default, let's look at it and see what has actually happened to that. So create mail spool, no, it's still set, so that hasn't been overridden at all. So that's okay. Let's check some of the config files. So let's check the login.defs. I'm going to use Vi on this and that looks like that hasn't changed uh, because what this little script does it looks like it looks for each of these names and as far as I can see it uncomments them think or does it remark them out? Um, I'm not sure exactly how the said works so uh, I guess what I can do is run this anyway it shouldn't cause any problems if uh, I'll tell you what I can do I can look at that original because it's backed up the file there with that command all right okay so it does actually remark them out so we need to run that um, so let's go back, paste that in, paste the rest of that in. Oh, I'm on the wrong terminal. That's not good. Paste it there. So if we look at the um, original again obviously that's the same because it's backing up the original file that was backed up already but if we go to the defs you can see it's um, remmed out, commented out certain options now um, we can do a diff actually to show the changes So you can see there it is actually inserting a hash. For each of these um, options here. So it looks like it's searching for the function. I presume that character means an insert. That's the character it's inserting. I'm not sure what the ampersand does, whether that mean to do it globally possibly so that's that done um, I wouldn't have imagined these would have changed there though they, they were adding added in manually so let's just have a quick look 
Oh, that looks like that might be a default one that's been overwritten because it starts with this hash percent pan 1 0, whereas the one that's in the book starts begin etc pan d login as a comment. So that's obviously is a default that's overwritten our changes. So I'll have to copy this in. In fact, if I look at all the files in PAMD, you'll see the ones that have just changed recently. So the later ones, you can see a lot of, um, different time of about an hour and a quarter, an hour and 20 minutes. So it looks like the best thing to do would be for me to recreate all of these. Um, again, I'd guess these ones, 1022, they're not the 1045 ones. They're probably from... Linux PAM because that was done just before Shadow so it looks like it's about 10-20 minutes later so I will go down and do all of these again And finally, there's this one that creates several files in one go. All the same settings. And you can see that actually says it's removed the old one. So if I now do a listing of that directory again, you can see now they've all got newer uh, timestamps. Again, this one's got 1034 because that was created when PAM was installed. That was, I think, the last configuration file so and you can see that system password one as well has been updated but all the others the 1210 ones or 1210 one was created when we installed shadow and all the others have got a timestamp of 1211 they're the ones we've just created on the console so that should be good now we better do these tests again Um, before I do them, I'm going to check these files here. ETC login access has been backed up to dot no use or moved to do to dot no use. So let's check to see if that exists. Right, that hasn't been affected by the looks of it, but the no use is still there. So if I do, for example, that, you can see the only file there is there is dot no use file, which is exactly what this is doing. It's saying if, the, if there's a file with that name, then move that file to the same file name, but append dot no use on the end. So I also do the same with etc limits. There's nothing there, but if we do etc limit start, you can see the dot no use is there. So that proves that those are still in action. So I'm going to go back to my terminal for login as kernel text. Unprivileged user, that's worked, that's good. Try su, put the password in, that's worked. I'm going to try su with the dash, that's worked. And finally, I'm going to just log in directly as root, and that's worked. So that's reinstalled Shadow with the correct configuration as stipulated by the errata on the BLFS page, and it's all still working. So I'm going to come out of this, go back, and clean up.